uh, this evening I, I, I want to speak uh, about my recent work, mostly in 90s. Most projects are uh, in 90s. Uh, Ms. Kira will translate. Uh, first project is my earlier work. え、私の最初に一つだけあの、え、私の最も初期のプロジェクトをご紹介したいと思います。私はあの、私の最初に一つだけ、あの、私の最初に一つだけ、あの、私の最初に一つだけ、あの、私の最初に一つだけ、あの
through the communication with my sister. And at that time, this family were quite introvert uh, state of uh, mind. If I, when I proposed to make the interior space white, my clients, my sister, uh, wished more than I did to make the space white. And when I proposed to reduce the number of the windows and only get more light from the, the roof, she wished, she wished more than I did. But when the house was ready, this introvert space uh, at the end enclosed the, the state of mind of the family enclosed in this house. For example, one of the daughter, uh, daughters, uh, when she was in high school, she didn't, she didn't want other people to come inside of this house. This is because she had a kind of feeling that this house was a, like shell, and a third person coming into the house gave her feeling that somebody is intruding her own space. This courtyard also for the first two years was left like on the foot on the right side just as a ground. The reason is that it is rather rare to, to, to experience the, this kind of ground in the middle of the city and also the contrast of this ground and concrete and white interior uh, uh, gave the more symbolic atmosphere also to the, uh, the courtyard. But soon, naturally, the birds brought the seas and naturally it was covered with uh, grass. But the fa this family never tried to make this uh, courtyard as with beautiful uh, controlled grass garden. The reason why is that it was a, a kind of memory with, with their father, because when the father was alive, they used to go to his hometown and, and do the farming and play in the grass. So they wanted to recreate this uh, uh, natural grass field in their courtyard. In 20 years later, these two small girls also grew up and they started to have their own profession. The, the girl on the left side, uh, the older sister, she went out to this house first and, and went to study to become a chef cook. <laughs> and she was the most critical about this house and this family. The reason why she was uh, very critical about this house is that because of this house, the mother had to live with the memory of the father. She kept on saying that mother also should be out of this house and start their new own life, her own life. And the, the other daughter, she was most fond of this house and loved this house most in the family. She said that uh, from, the, from, the, uh, from the, her youth, because of this beautiful white wall, she uh, developed her sense of aesthetics. え、そしてえ、彼女は今、美術館に勤めています。あ、なしワークスインデミュージアム。え、え、過ごす時間が多くなりました。で、マザーストディッドザセリオブミュージックアンド、バチオソセトンモメントスタディッドヘブンアナザ
So that is why about a year ago this house was destroyed. And when this house was destroyed, we made a one a short video which lasts about seven, seven to eight minutes, which we, I would like to present now. This video is composed of two different parts. The first part is uh, filmed about five years later of the completion of this house. And the latter half is, uh, is filmed when this house was destroyed and filmed to think about what would be, what this family would think about this house later. The latter half of the film is, uh, is made by our own selves in the office, so it's, it is not professional quality, but uh, if you could understand it. え、この構成使われているバックグラウンドミュージックは、え、山田 music is by Kosaku Yamada, which is a very important composer in Japan, and my sister is specialized in studying about his works. That is why we use this music. え、以上、以上です。This video was made 
for the for the symposium in Berlin, which was called Virtual House. So I thought when this house was destroyed and when it and de de finished on the earth, that this become, house becomes virtual. But uh, through the process of making this video, I realized this house was from the beginning uh, a virtual house. まあ、あの先ほどもう一つの川ということを申し上げたんですけれども、えーまあ、私たちの、まあ、都市はあ、まあ、水良い水の近くに作られてきました。I mentioned about seem about a virtual water or another water. Our,、uh, um, how do you call it? Our environment was created most, most often created along the water. Physical water. But today our life is also depending on not only the physical water but another water or stream which is electric stream. And I wish you could feel this kind of image from these two photos. And this kind of image was realized in 1991 in London at the occasion of exhibition of Vision of Japan. 50 video projector was used to recreate the atmosphere of city and which floats on this screen. When you are standing on that, you really felt that you are on the stream. It's not difficult to to recreate the image of, of this kind of electric stream, but how to physicalize in architecture is very difficult. <laughs> One of the first projects which I worked on this theme is the Tower of the Wind. This tower has two different faces. One is an aluminum panel、uh, tower, which is a real tower, and in the evening, the, the tower of the lights comes out, which is a virtual tower. And in this、uh, light tower is the concrete tower of the water,、uh, water tower at the、uh, ventilation、uh, facilities. These two faces of one real body and,、uh, and virtual body is just like our body. We have also physical body which is composed of bones and, and, and muscles. Another body is、uh, created with images. And neither of one、uh, body is real body, and we are supposed to live both bodies. One is physical body, and another is virtual body. And I believe. Architecture is also just like this. The last project I would like to present tonight is the Mediatek, which is now under construction in Sendai in Japan. And this is a model made during the competition. As you see, this is building s e v e n t h floor on top of the ground and two floors in, in underground. One floor is 50 meters、uh, by 50 meters square. This seventh floor. Uh, seven floor floors are supported by this tube like construction. During the competition, there were 12 tubes planned, but now it's 13 tubes. Diameters of these tubes are from the smallest is about 2 meters and biggest is about 9 meters. The location of this project is in Sendai, which is placed in north and one of the biggest c i t i e s in, in this area. And it's along the Along this, as you see on the right side, it's along the beautiful tree lines. Here you see the one of the first sketches I, I made during the competition, which was faxed from the airport in Europe on the way back to Tokyo. Here it's, a, it's written the column l o o k like seaweed. I heard from the beginning the image that the waving seaweed in the, in the sea. And the floor had to be very thin and, and very flat. The further to the boulevard had to be transparent. From the boulevard, people could look inside of the space, and just like looking to the aquarium, the seaweed were,、uh, were waving.
This is also the proposal during the competition. And in this structure net were uh, elevators and staircases and uh, uh, duct spaces. Furthermore, through this tube, the natural light is collected by, by, the, by the lens, which is placed on top of this tube. So in the, in the middle of the space, the natural light could be experienced. The facade towards the boulevard is made of double glazing. By that, climatization of the inside will be uh, suitable. On the left side, you see the, the beginning of the image of the plan. The program of this project is complex of library and art gallery and, and facility for the handicapped people and odd visual uh, facilities. So some floors look really like a, a library-like plan and another floor is for the installation. And there's also space which is suitable for a multimedia computer workshop. The discussion of how this space, each floor should be used is still going on and it's not yet finally decided. We, we made a lot of, we built a lot of study models for this project and this is one of the earliest model we made. The system of the structure has been also developed a lot, lot since the competition, but there are basically there are two different kind of tubes, and one is uh, uh, one is made for the uh, uh, side horizontal uh, horizontal power by created by earthquake. Another pipe is to burden the vertical uh, ber vertical weight, and some of them are twisted uh, through the through the floor. The steel pipes which are used in this, uh, in this uh, tube is about between 14 cm to 24 cm. It was more difficult than the structural system itself how to place the elevator and how to place the opening of the elevator in this tube structure. And another problem was air conditioning duct which is going through this tube and so at the moment it has to go horizontally into the slab. This uh, kind of detail was very difficult. And this kind of studies is still un going on during this uh, construction process. The floor is made of steel honeycomb grid, which is on one meter grid. So there's double steel, steel uh, plates, and during, uh, in between these two plates are the grid system. Along these tubes, are the, the density of the grid is higher than other part. The right side photo is the simulation of the reaction of this tube construction against the earthquake. It is most understandable to, to present the video to, to, to about this construction, but during the earthquake, the each floor uh, has a gap, the movement of the each floor has a gap from the other floor, so it looks like those uh, tube structure is uh, kind of dancing. What I found it funny is that at the beginning of the plan, I had a kind of waving seaweed in the aquarium, and this image came back by structural engineering by simulating an earthquake <laughs> movement. And this is a mock-up which is created about a year ago to show the connection between the tube and floor plates. <coughs> As you can see, the most crit critical, structurally critical part is the connection between these tubes and uh, and, and the plate. So that this model was to control the, the quality of the welding to satisfy the structure requirement. What is for me most important thinking about architecture <coughs> is like it's clearly seen in this markup model. As I said, it's just like physical, uh, it's just like body of ourselves, that architecture also one hand has to, bur to, be, a, to be strong enough to burden this kind of uh, uh, strengths, but at the same time, this building could be also dancing and gravityless like seaweed. So to think about how to realize these contradictive, totally different uh, uh, character of architecture is one of the most interesting thing for me. Although my everyday life is more concerned with how to how to install the sprinkler system or how to create the con connection of the duct like you see on the left side. This photo is made in 2nd of June. As you see, the, the ground is already digged to ready for the construction. The claim which is standing in the center will keep on standing quite later stage of this construction. About a year from now, the most of the, the steel construction will be constructed. 
the size of this uh, model, at the size of the the steel construction of the the size of the steel construction will be exactly the same with the the model you see now on in front. In this project, I was more thinking about making a forest than making architecture. In other words, the people who will use this uh, uh, building will be mostly the people who are busy with computer. So those people will communicate in this uh, new forest. And finally, this is the last images. And my theme is that the physical body will go back at the end either to the water or to the ground. And I'm wondering where this virtual body will go at the end of our life. Thank you very much.